everyone, what's going on? Andrew Summers coming at you with an updated LEGO SUV design. Now, if you've been around this channel long enough, you'll know that one of my first videos I posted way back last year was of an armored Suburban. What I didn't show you was the civilian version I had of it. Here we are a year later, and I have that civilian version, albeit heavily updated. So to take you through just the, uh, the aesthetics of the model, the front, it hasn't really changed much from the, uh, the design I had a year prior. In fact, this is pretty much the exact same thing, maybe just updated headlights and little lamps on the bottom. Um, if you know, if you go back and look at my Suburban review, you'll, you'll sort of see what I'm talking about there. But nothing much has changed up front. The sides is where we start seeing a big bit of change. Now, for starters, just as long as we're going over features, though, the doors, they do open, and they open like so. These are probably actually the easiest opening doors of any LEGO model I have. Uh, usually the doors that I, I install on my models, they're a bit tricky to open. They open, but they're just a little bit difficult to do. But this one, you know, they, they open and close with real relative ease, so there's no problems there. But in terms of the changes, Perhaps the biggest change in the midsection is the height of it all. Originally, this used to be a plate taller than it actually is, right now in the middle. And in doing so, it sort of looked a bit odd. Because you have the line of the fenders right here. You know, they extend to the back. But then the midsection, it went one plate lower than it is right now. Which at the time, that was all I could do. But you know, the hindsight of time and improvement is that you change a bit of things. And so I was able to actually remove a plate of height from the midsection here. So now I think the whole thing just looks a bit better when, you when you're talking about proportions. The best part of this, however, is the updates it did to the rear. Which, as you might be able to tell, that includes an opening lift gate which I'll demonstrate here, like that. Now, I've been building sport utility vehicles since 2011 or 2012. So that's six or seven years, depending on what year I actually started. Jeez, not even I know. But in all the time I've been doing that, I had never been able to put in an opening lift gate. Don't know why, but I guess every design that I had been using up to this point here you just really couldn't incorporate a tailgate into, or at least I couldn't figure out how to do so. But one of the largest changes on this model, as compared with the one from a year prior, was that I actually widened the rear end. So the rear end of the previous model, it used to be only six wide in the, uh, the window section, I guess you can say, which meant that the rear windows here, the rear quarter windows, they used to be six wide. So, because they were only six wide, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I wasn't able to put in a lift gate, but I just wasn't able to for whatever reason. Here you can see that I've made the quarter windows extend to seven wide, which actually I think looks a lot better because then the whole side is sort of aligned with itself, which is, I think, a pretty good design aspect of this SUV. But apart from just the opening lift gate and the fact that it's a bit wider in the back section, another feature here is you get a small tow hitch right at the bottom. So if you got a trailer or something, if I ever build one, I can tow it along with this. And then the tail lights, which I think are rather reminiscent of the Cadillac Escalade. Uh, I remember being behind one one night and thinking, you know, that tail light design would really work for this SUV model. So that's, you know, that's how I got them right here. Now, other side, now, same thing as the side before it, but I guess now I can show you that I can actually open the whole entire roof, like that. And inside, you can see just how spacious this thing actually is. Uh, for starters, you get a uh, working luggage compartment, so you can see there are four suitcases here and a tan thing, whatever that's supposed to represent. And if we turn the model on its side, 
you can see that there are four passengers indeed they're sitting right in there looking all pretty you know you get two couples in there one of my designs years back actually had room for five people and of course just one person in the rear section back here but the design of that I always wasn't that fond of because I used some really janky techniques and nothing fit together quite uh, quite stable so I f uh, figured just you know forget that <laughs> you know and for the past several years that I've had an SUV design it hasn't had a single rear seat which I mean I guess you could say is a, a knock on the playability of it in a way because well you were able to fit five seats why didn't you keep doing that but I just think for all intents and purposes just the four seats in this design it works perfectly fine enough but anyway um, a note on the previous design of this the previous design of this I actually have for sale on Bricklink just instructions mind you no actual parts it's just an LDD file but I'll link that in the description below too so you can check out the older design and if you want buy it and build it for yourself I always love it when people do that and show me what they built out of it but that's up for sale there, so feel free to check that out. Again, I'll put that in the description below. But if you've enjoyed this video, maybe stick around, see what else is on the channel, and like, comment, and I guess subscribe. <laughs> so until next time, everyone, catch you later. Bye.